So let's go on. What's the biggest difference between Brazil and UK? Ask uh, Brian. <laughs> Is people really different? The people, I, yeah, yes, it is. There, I don't know if it's just me or not, mm -hmm. but for me, there in Brazil, I feel like more open. But maybe because like it was my first language, so people and I are just hugging and everything, you know, like cool, let's do this. We don't have like a plan before doing it or something. Like, yeah. if we go want to go out, uh huh. We don't really plan the day. Like, let's go on this day, on this day, on this day. No, we just okay. Let's go today. That's the goal. Okay. And here, like, no. yeah. Yeah, you have a program and you <laughs> yes. follow the program. So yes. you set that day at that time and you follow that. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Yeah, and they actually on time. Well, yes. Like, <laughs> on time. He is like, <laughs> yeah. So let's meet at twelve. No, we arrive like at at one. Like, oops, what's our leg? Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> Italians are the same. Yeah, exactly. They are always late. Yeah. <laughs> always late. <laughs> Margherita, she wants to know Did you find it difficult to settle in? Mm. At the beginning, it's always weird. It's always like, Why am I here? Mm -hmm. But that's because my English is not that good. Yeah. <laughs> and also I'm kind of shy, so yeah. It was kind of awkward for me. But then when you met some friends, when I met some, like, make some friends, it was, it was fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also because for me, directions, oh my gosh, tell me, like, if you ask me for the directions, like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I go to opposite side, I always get lost. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Google Maps help me a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Google Maps save our <laughs> lives every day. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I think, yes, that at the beginning has been the same for me. Like, you are new here, you know nothing about the language, uh, public transport, and so it's like a bit difficult here yeah, at the beginning. Uh, ah, speaking about food. <laughs> They show you that you are really a uh, food lover. So Ricardo, she, he wants to know what's your favorite food in Brazil and uh, what's your favorite food in UK? Let's start with Brazil, it's easier, <laughs> I think. <laughs> oh, I have so many. Arroz e feijão, farofa e picanha. That's the main plate. That's Rice, the ingredients, yeah. beans, farofa and also Picanha, that, that means it's a meat, it's like a meat. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know how to say that in English. I think there's no translation, it's like pasta, it's pasta wherever you go. Maybe. Yeah, it's or it's a kind of meat, maybe it's beef or pork, I don't know what animal it is. I'm hungry now. I want that. Me too! <laughs> I'm hungry now. That's strange. I'm really hungry too. I'm no, not okay. cool. I'm <laughs> okay, so and what's your curry put in UK? There are so many important plates in UK, no? We know. Like fish and chips and fish and chips. And <laughs> roasted dinner and fish and chips and uh, oh, yeah, go uh, okay, okay. And l'ultima, dai che l'ultima e poi andiamo a mangiare. <laughs> so last question and it's me asking you something now. So if you have children in the future, I don't know if you want any children. How many you want? Three. Three. Because my favorite number. And I was one of the and I was like the third child. I am the first time I was like, I am. The question is, okay. <laughs> would you choose a Brazilian 
British or Italian name for them. Italian slash Brazilian. Yeah? Ita more what Italian. I would choose like a typical name Italian. Not typical, but like my father's name is Pietro, so mm -hmm. I and I also have my favorite my favorite name. Pietro is quite a nice name. Yeah, it is. And also Pietro is Pedro is kind of similar to Brazilian. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I would call him Pietro if mm -hmm. I had a boy. <laughs> if he's a girl, I would call um, Sofia maybe. I like Sofia. Oh, Sofia is really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I like Sofia. Or Stella. Uh, yeah. And Sofia is another very smart name because it's the same in Italian and in Spanish too. Yeah, Sofia know. is international. I know name the too. music. You know the music, Sofia? No? Okay. What is it? In Spanish. Ah, Sofia, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alberto Soler. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone <laughs> will sing that song to your child. Poor Sofia. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a revival of the name. <laughs> she will hate you. <laughs> but it's a nice name, okay? Yeah, it is. Okay, so to conclude, I want to know what's your tip for the world? Hmm. Um, my last tip is if you are moving in to another place, oh, the start is gonna be hard, mm -hmm. but it's always nice meet new people and you're also gonna have like new experience and don't be afraid yes absolutely like everyone have like at the start you get scared and then after you kind of gonna get adjust you're gonna adjust yourself like to where you are i me i hope so yeah Thank you very much, Bianca. Thank you for your time with us. I think it has been a really, really interesting uh, interview today. And so, and we're going to come. Okay. How are you going to end? Tipo, seguiti su. Follow us. Give us a like if you like the video, and follow us, subscribe at the channel so you can watch more videos uh, where I interview people from all over the world. Thank you, bye bye. <laughs>